Item number SCP-2931 Index Twin Bed Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2931-1 and SCP-2931-2 are to be contained in separate containment chambers, both of which are to remain hermetically sealed at all times. No living organism is to be permitted to fall asleep in SCP-2931-1 or SCP-2931-2. A single instance of SCP-2931-2-A is to be kept in a chemically induced coma in a class 3 humanoid containment cell and monitored regularly for unusual activity. Description SCP-2931 is a pair of standard XL single-sized beds, 0.97 meters in width by 2.16 meters in length, each consisting of a mattress and wooden frame. Aside from noted anomalous properties, SCP-2931 appears identical to standard dormitory beds issued to students at the University of... One of the beds has been denoted SCP-2931-1 while the other has been denoted SCP-2931-2. The entity referred to as SCP-2931-2-A has only been observed to manifest in SCP-2931-2 when a human subject enters REM sleep in SCP-2931-1 between the hours of 2000 and 0400 Eastern Standard Time EST. To date, no manifestation events have occurred while SCP-2931-2 is otherwise occupied. At the time of recovery, SCP-2931-1 was occupied nightly by Rachel, a 19-year-old female college student at the University of. This occupation likely resulted in regular manifestations of SCP-2931-2-A, as the student reports having a roommate during this period. Surveillance footage of manifestation events shows SCP-2931-2-A emerging supine from the mattress as though the mattress were a viscous liquid, with the face surfacing first, followed by the chest and shoulders. SCP-2931-2-A is a 19-year-old woman who claims to be a college student at the University of... When questioned about university landmarks and culture, her answers indicate strong familiarity with the subject matter, suggesting that this claim may be true in some capacity. SCP-2931-2-A is 1.65 meters in height and 54 kilograms in weight, and is of mixed European descent. Her eyes and hair are both light brown, though traces of bubblegum pink hair dye are present at the tips of longer hairs. When prostrate, SCP-2931-2-A exhibits a slight cough indicative of mild asthma, but is otherwise in good health. SCP-2931-2-A does not naturally expire or otherwise disappear at the end of each day, meaning that sleeping in SCP-2931-1 on consecutive nights will generate multiple coexistent instances of SCP-2931-2-A. Instances of SCP-2931-2-A are physically and chronologically identical, with each new instance created apparently possessing the same memories as the last. If instances of SCP-2931-2-A observe or otherwise come into contact with one another, both will begin screaming, and will continue to scream until sedated. Extensive testing has determined that individual instances of SCP-2931-2-A pose no threat to the Foundation or Foundation assets. SCP-2931-2-A claims that her name is Andrea. University records confirm that a student enrolled in classes under this name in September 1980. However, no record of a person with this name exists prior to the given date of matriculation. SCP-2931-2-A claims to have no memory of her life before this time and will become visibly distressed when events preceding this date are mentioned. In March of 1990, construction workers on the campus of the University of uncovered a mass grave beneath the building. Over 400 400 bodies were recovered in various states of decay. 
Forensic analysis revealed all bodies to be genetically identical to SCP-2931-2-A.